Jackie Kennedy quietly burned personal letters and photos before she died. Jackie Kennedy developed a weird ritual. She would invite someone she trusted to her place. Then she'd read letters from her kids, JFK, Aristotle Onassis, and whatnot. And then she'd burn the letters. This has been revealed in her new biography. The book is titled, Jackie, Public, Private, Secret. In the final months of her life, Jackie reunited with an old flame. Architect John Warnicke sent her a Valentine's note. His sincere words led to a secret meeting. It took place at Jackie's New York apartment. Warnicke arrived to find the rooms dimly lit. And there she was, Jackie, seated near the fireplace in her pajamas. She had one request, to keep their meeting a secret, as long as they lived. Warnicke honored his promise. In 1998, he had shared the details with a biographer. He requested that the biography wait 10 years after his death. Warnicke passed away at 91 in 2010. Now, readers finally know what happened that night. As Warnicke took his seat, Jackie handed him a bundle of letters. It was her ritual. Warnicke said, Every night that week, she was inviting a trusted friend or family member to her home to take part in it. Jackie untied the yarn and took a letter from the stack. She read it before placing it in the fire. There were letters from her kids, Jack Kennedy, Aristotle Onassis, her father, and Warnicky. Jackie paused over one photo of her and JFK on Inauguration Day. She turned to Warnicky and said, Keep this for me, will you? Letter by letter, she burned her history. Jackie passed away from non-Hodgkin lymphoma in 1994, but some of her writings managed to survive. Among them were handwritten dinner menus. They were meant for Chef Tanya Herbst. Many of the menus are written in French. In them, Jackie uses endearing names for JFK. She calls him Mr. K or Monsieur. One of the menus reads, Mr. K can eat nothing fried. He likes all these creamed foods. So just give me a salad, plus raw fruit in place of his desserts, plus vegetables. These notes were auctioned off in the summer of 2023. There were also surviving letters between Jackie and Father Joseph Leonard. Jackie wrote to him from 1950 to 1964. In the letters, Jackie expressed her feelings. She wrote about meeting and marrying JFK. She worried he'd be unfaithful like her dad. Later she shared her grief over JFK's death. The early letters also said something else. They described Jackie's happy visits to Ireland. That was before she joined the Kennedys. For years, nobody knew about the letters. They had been preserved at All Hallows College in Ireland. In 2014, the priests announced an auction. They decided to sell Jackie's notes. They could have fetched as much as $5 million. But the auction never took place. Ethel, Robert Kennedy's widow, thought the letters were too private. She proposed a different solution, burning them, just like all the others. The fate of those letters remains uncertain. But one thing is crystal clear. Jackie was determined to take all her secrets with her.